Iran bankrolled the Hamas-led massacre of at least 800 in Israel with Western funds, one analyst boldly asserted amid global scrutiny over Tehran's role in the operation. Former advisor to U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney and Chief Arms Negotiator John Bolton. David Wormser contends the West paid for this war from the West's decision to lift sanctions on Iran facilitating its oil sales and the support of NGOs by Western nations, which funneled funds to terrorist organizations. In 2021, under President Joe Biden's administration, Washington lifted all sanctions on Iran's oil and shipping, aiming to reinvigorate Tehran's 2015 nuclear agreement. The result, said Wormser, is as much as $140 billion over the past two years. When combined with the financial resources directed by the Western powers, including the United States and Europe, 12 certain NGOs, a portion of these funds that reports have shown inadvertently flows into the coffers of terrorist organizations, this is the money that enabled this war. Wormser said. Money was no object for Hamas, the Iranians, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, etc., Wormso said. Without money being an object, their capabilities skyrocketed. Hamas's armed wing is Eldin Al Qassam brigades trained with paragliders as they prepare for an armed air assault, in this screen grab obtained from a social media video released on October 7, 2023, according to Wormso. When former U.S. President Donald Trump left office, he had tightened the news of the Iranian regime so much that it had only $4 billion left of foreign currency reserves. This amount was not enough to fund Hamas and Hezbollah and support its civilians, leading to citizen unrest. When the Iranians felt impoverished and choked, the regime faced public anger over the money going to Hezbollah. Hamas, Yemen, and so forth, so it could not have risked funding something like this," Wormser explained. Moreover, the recent decision by Washington to issue a waiver for international banks to transfer $6 billion in frozen Iranian money from South Korea to Qatar without fear of U.S. sanctions meant that Iran believed that it had tricked the West, Wormser said. He added that the transfer deal and recent tensions between Washington and Jerusalem gave Iran the confidence that the West does not have the will to choke Iran. He said there is a false perception in Washington that Iran and its terror proxies are normal enemies with which one can negotiate. These are not political opponents, Wormser concluded. These are evil forces. And Israel is on the front line.